Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use functions in PHP. Now, a function is basically just a special container where we can put a bunch of code that's designed to perform a specific task. So a lot of times when you're writing your PHP code, you're going to have certain code which is going to be naturally grouped together. So you're going to have certain code which is naturally just like performing, you know, some common task. And a lot of times in PHP, what we can do is we can take code like that and we can put it inside of its own special container called a function. And the cool thing about functions is it allows you to organize all the code on your website, but a function is also going to be able to be reusable. So I can basically take some code that performs a specific task, put it inside of a function, and then I can use it in multiple places throughout my program. And that is extremely powerful. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to give you guys a basic introduction into functions. We're going to create a function and we're going to kind of talk about how they work. So down here in my PHP tags, I'm going to go ahead and create a function. And like I said, a function is basically just a container where we can put a bunch of code that's designed to perform a specific task. So in this tutorial, I'm actually going to create a function which is going to say hi to the user. So the whole purpose of this function is going to be to say hi to the user. And I'll show you guys how we can use this um, and how we can leverage its power. So when we create a function, the first thing we want to do is just type out the word function. And this is going to tell PHP that we want to create a function. The next thing we want to do is give this function a name. So you basically want to give it a name which is going to describe what it's doing. So in our case, we're building a function which is going to say hi to the user. So I'm just going to call this say hi, just like that. And then I'm going to make an open and close parentheses and I'm going to make an open and close curly bracket. And what I want to do is I want to go inside of this open and close curly brackets. So you'll see in here, I'm typing inside of these curly brackets and any code that you put in between those curly brackets is going to be considered part of the function. So whatever code I want to put in there, that's technically, technically going to be part of this function. So I'm going to make a very simple function. I'm just going to type out one line of code and it's just going to say, Hello user. Now I have one line of code here in my function, but you could have as many lines of code as you want. Functions can hold, you know, dozens or hundreds of lines of code. Doesn't really matter. And so now that I created this function, I'm going to go ahead and run my little program here. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my browser, but you'll see when I refresh my browser, nothing happens. So nothing is actually getting printed out. And here's the problem. Anytime we put code inside of a function like this, that code is only going to execute when we do something called calling the function. So for this code to execute, I have to call this function. So I'm going to come down here below the function and I'm going to call it. And the way that we can call a function is just by typing out its name. So I can just type out say hi, and then I'm going to type an open and close parentheses. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm telling PHP that I want to execute all of the code inside of this function. So when PHP is looking through this file and it comes down here and it sees say hi, it's going to know that it has to jump up over here and execute this code. So now when I refresh my browser, you'll see that we're printing out hello user. So the code inside of that function, it's actually getting executed. And this is obviously a very simple function. And like I said, the whole point is that whenever you have code that's, you know, performing a specific task, you can put it inside of a function just like that. But we can take this a step further. So another cool thing we can do with these functions is we can actually give them information. So I can give this function information, which are called parameters, and then the function can use those parameters or the information that gets passed in in order to do different things. So what I could do is I can come over here and let's say that instead of just saying hi to the user, we wanted this to say hi to someone specific. Right. So what I can do is I can essentially create a variable up here in these parentheses. I'm just going to say dollar sign and I'm just going to call it name. And now I can come down here and instead of printing out user, I'm just going to print out name. And so essentially what I did up here is I specified that this function, this say hi function is going to take in a parameter. So it's going to take one value in. That means whenever I call this function, for example, if I call it down here, I have to pass it a name. I have to pass it a value. So I could go ahead and I could pass it like a name, like my name. So I can pass it the value Mike. And now this value is going to get stored inside of this name variable and it's going to print out hello Mike down here. So now when I run my program, you'll see it's printing out hello Mike 
instead of printing out hello user. And I could change that depending on what I put in here. So if I put like Tom in here, now it's gonna print out hello Tom. So this function is using the piece of information that I gave it in order to perform its task a little bit differently. And that's sort of like what functions are. Um, and another cool thing we can do with functions is we can actually reuse this code. So I can write this code up here one time and I can execute it as many times as I want inside of my program. So for example, I could come down here and I could just copy this and I could paste it a few times and I could say hi to Tom. I could say hi to Dave. We could also say hi to Oscar. And so I'm basically saying that I want to call this function three times. I'm passing it three different pieces of information. And actually over here, I'm just going to put a break tag so we can kind of see this a little bit easier. And so now it's going to print out, hello, Tom, hello, Dave, and hello, Oscar. So when I refresh this, you'll see it's printing out all of that. So I wrote this code one time. I wrote the code to say hi to the user one single time, and I was able to use it three times throughout my program. And that's kind of one of the core concepts with functions is you can write them once and you can use them a bunch of different times. So we can actually reuse this code throughout our program. And in addition to just passing in one parameter, I could pass in as many as I want. So I can put a comma over here and let's say I want the user to pass in an age as well. And now I could say, hello, name, you are age, right? So down here, I can pass in two parameters now. So I could say Tom is 40, let's say Dave is 13, and Oscar is 80. And now our program is going to be able to respond to that. So you'll see it's saying, hello, Tom, you're 40, Dave's 13, Oscar's 80. So we can pass in two or three. I mean, you can pass in as many parameters basically as you want. And then whenever you call the function, you need to pass them in just like that. So that's why functions are useful. Functions are actually extremely useful and there's a lot of situations in PHP where we're gonna wanna use them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.